Hi guys! So as you can tell from the title of this video, I am about to do a little chit chat, pack with me, get ready with me for LA. Um, my boyfriend and I are going to LA tomorrow. It's our first trip together, flying together, like we've gone away for like a night but it's a lot more magical. First and foremost, I just waxed a lot of places and I'm a little bit red. And I also put like this Becca brightening eye cream under my eyes. And I feel like in contrast with the red, it's just like not a great look. <laughs> like I don't, I don't look good right now, but you know what? We're doing this, it's what we do. So not only am I gonna do, I'm doing a pack with me right now, but I also just bought a bunch of things at Torrid on sale. So I thought I'm gonna pack a lot of it for LA. So I thought I'd do like a mini haul after this portion here so I'm gonna start with packing my makeup for the trip and then we'll go upstairs and we'll pack the clothing and I'll show you guys I'm just trying to figure out my makeup bag so first and foremost I bought this bag super used on because I've always wanted a Louis Vuitton makeup bag I bought this used I think on the real real um, because if you think about it with a makeup bag I am such a messy person. I'm like, why would I ever buy that new? Like, this one was used as a makeup bag before and it had like a lot. It was just like kind of dirty inside. I'm like, but it's gonna get dirty from me too. So like, if you're looking for something like that, um, buy it used. Like, so much cheaper. It's kind of crazy. So, <laughs> I'm gonna be packing this with makeup. So first, what I've been putting in here over the last couple of weeks is makeup I've been using throughout trips, but it's kind of just like become a whole lot of clutter. Like there's so much in here, I don't even know. I don't even know. So if you guys have recently watched my summer makeup routine, it was a chit chat already with me, but it was my summer, oh my chin is so red from waxing it. <laughs> I had to get that peach was off. Anyway, <laughs> I have been obsessed with this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. This stuff is so good. Like for the summer, just slap it on with your hands. I kinda wanna put on like a little bit right now. And I can show you guys how it is. This is just gonna be like so casual, like we're hanging out. This video will probably be really long, but it just like evens out your skin tone a little bit. And it also has SPF 25. I am using the shade Fawn 3C1. And it's just the right amount of coverage to even out your skin tone. Like the fact that you can put it on with your hands, it just evens me out a little bit, it gives me protection. This is my summer color, like matches my tan pretty well. But like, I don't know. Hopefully it translated on camera. I just think it's like such a staple. I'm just trying to think if I need this on my trip though because realistically I'll either be wearing like no makeup or like a full face, so I'm probably gonna leave that behind. So for my primer, I'm gonna bring my Milani Prime Shield. This is my favorite mattifying primer. And it's from the drugstore. It's affordable, it works so well. I'm oily again. Accutane time is over. Accutane's been done. I was dry from it for a bit and I'm literally just back to old oily Alex. So we will be delving into that realm this fall. So I'm packing this. Then I think for foundation, I've been using a few different kinds. So I have been using the, this is really good. I haven't talked about this with you guys yet. I bought it like a week ago. It's the Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation in the shade 50 Medium Warm Canel. Um, and it's very tan. Like it's my summer foundation. It's very natural looking. It's very glowy. Uh, I really like it. I don't know what possessed me to buy it, but I'm really glad I did. Uh, it's just like that perfect glowy summer foundation. But I want something long wearing because these are going to be long days. We're going to be out and about for like the whole day. So I really love how my CC cream wears from IT Cosmetics and it has the SPF because we'll be in the sun. So I think I'm going to pack this in the shade medium tan, my summer shade. Then, oh my god, this is a game changer. The Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector and I got the shade light to medium. It has a pink undertone and I just dab a little bit under my eyes and it literally looks like you got a full night's sleep. Whenever it works like a dream, the pink undertones cancel out so much darkness under the eyes. Okay, so I love that stuff so much, but then I also think I'm gonna bring my tried and true Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm almost out of my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Like, it's pretty much gone. I couldn't get any out yesterday. I 
feel like I had backup powder. I do. So I'm gonna bring, I need to fix my chair. How long has Alex been saying she needs to fix her squeaky chair? So I'm gonna bring my Airspun Luminous Translucent to bake under my eyes. It gives me a really nice glow. And then I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I've been using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder in the shade Natural Beige. It's my summer shade. I love this powder. It's really good. It's really natural. Sets your makeup really nice. It wears very nice. It's like not too matte, not too shiny. I just, it's really good. Very natural looking. And then bronzer. What am I gonna bring for bronzer? I picked this back up again recently. It's the Hourglass Nude Bronze Light Ambient Bronzer. It's a really pretty natural looking bronzer. I think this will look really good and like natural and fresh. Um, and blush, I have been wearing the Bare Minerals Gen Nude called That Peach though. It's the perfect peachy blush. Then on top of that for a highlighter, I just went to the south, I've been back using the Anastasia highlighter, um, the Ambrisi collection. I love this highlighter. It is gold and beautiful. Like look at that shimmer. Uh, it's what I use in the summer because I can't really pull this off when I'm winter pale Alex, <laughs> but in the summer I feel like it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna bring that. Then I'm gonna bring my MAC Soft Ochre, no, Painterly Paint Pot to prime my lids. This is like all that works for me in the summertime now. Like my eyelids are really weird. You guys ask me a lot um, what works and what doesn't work for me uh, with like oily lids. And I feel like that is working the best for me lately. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Sorry, this is just like real, real life. I'm gonna swap out the Tarte for the Born This Way because I have this in light beige and it's a little bit darker. And this does feel a little bit light right now. Anastasia Brow Pencil and Glossier Boy Brow. So I actually have been using the pomade lately from Anastasia. I got the shade Soft Brown and I was gonna get taupe and this is actually much more like a dark brown in my opinion. But I've been wearing it and you guys have been actually giving me a lot of compliments on my brows. I feel like I've been old Alexing with like darker, fuller brows and I'm kind of into it. So I'm gonna bring that. I am gonna bring, bing, I'm gonna bring boy brow for like a quick morning if we just go grab breakfast quickly. It just makes me feel a little bit more put together. I'm gonna bring my favorite lip pencil. Um, well, one of them, Spice from MAC. Been wearing that all the time. Oh, I used this from my FabFitFun box. I used it yesterday, two days ago, and I love it. It's the Tristique, uh Shadow Crayon. What shade is this? It's a really pretty gold. It's called Morimoto Pink Pearl, and it's like the prettiest pearlescent gold. Like it's when the light hits, it's just like really beautiful. And I just like tossed it on my lid two seconds it took. Um, so maybe I'll bring this, I really like it. I have been obsessed with the Revlon Super Lustrous Glosses. Uh, this one and then this other pinky color, they're really good. I'm actually, I threw some on right now when I started this. Love that. Jeffree Star Christmas Cookie is my favorite nude right now. I've been wearing it for months with Spice Lip Liner. It's heaven scent or I've been using Sunnyside from ColourPop, a cosmetics superhero mascara. Super here, that was English. So this summer for waterproof, I bought the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes because I really love the Lights Camera Lashes. This is the waterproof version and I don't love it. I don't love it. <laughs> I just don't feel like it, it gets my lashes enough. Like I think the original formula works really well, but I just, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's my lashes. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, but kind of disappointing. And then I'm going to bring my tweezers and brow gel, brow gel, lash glue. Who is she? NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk. I like to put this in my waterline. You guys know. And then I always bring my little rose gold, uh, scissors just in case I need to cut a lash or just like whatever I'm for some reason I always need and I always keep my little Mac pencil sharpener in there as well so what we need is maybe an eyeshadow palette and lashes that should be all I just bought a bunch from Lily lashes when they were having a sale I always stock up whenever there's a sale this one's called the prom lash and it's really pretty like you guys will see it on. It's kind of like a wispier Miami. So I love this. I think I'm gonna bring these. And for an eyeshadow palette, 
oh my gosh this palette i forgot how much i loved this neutral right warm neutral 15 palette from mac i got this back when i worked there and i love this palette i've been wearing it a lot lately so i think i'm gonna bring this and pack it all up and that'll be it for my makeup i'll meet you upstairs and we will do the clothing okay so let's start off with what i got from torrid i could not even fathom how much money i saved like when i pack for trips i kind of like to just lay things out and then pack them like kind of figure out a baseline so i have a list because it's what i do i'm also going to bring these quay sunglasses or key I, I still say quay and they're key but that's the thing a lot of people struggle with also look at this that tray stick tray stick liner or eyeshadow it like i wash my hands it does not come off it's pretty magical so i'm gonna just quickly run through everything i got i love this shirt so much if you guys want to see how they look i'll be wearing them on like instagram but i bought this it is so cute the way it fits like it kind of like sits nice and firm at the waist and then flares out a little bit so you get really nice shape it's got little buttons i'll link it all below if you guys like any of it this top was so cute sorry this isn't a try on i just like don't have a ton of time so i'm packing but you guys will see me wear all of this on insta then we have this top here kind of a similar fit so the straps are removable so you could wear it as a tube top um but it's just really cute it's ruched at the top so it's stretchy it has little lace that's my toothbrush holder it won't stop falling off the mirror and then it's just really flowy and i just love the pattern i think it's really whimsical i look really cute with jeans charlie brown is my absolute favorite so i had to grab this peanuts shirt so torrid has some of my absolute favorite underwear guys they are so good so i got five underwear they were buy three get two free if you're plus i definitely recommend getting their undies my favorites are they have great thongs they have great high-waisted briefs um and also if you like a little bit of smoothing the smoothing brief is really nice if you're wearing something a little more fitted oh this was so cute guys this color and the polka dots combined i'm obsessed torrid has some of my favorite rompers like um one of the beautiful girls that came to the meetup yesterday had on a torrid jumpsuit and it was so cute hers was a romper this one has full legs but uh i have one too i have a couple and the quality is just so nice they just fit really well. You can go braless because, like, it's just, it has a little bit of support. So this one is kind of like an ankle length. It's kind of cropped, but it's a little bit lower than, like, a culotte. Um, it comes right above the ankle, and I'm just totally obsessed. Cinches at the waist. It has a little tie, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> like, I think this would be so cute with a denim jacket. You could wear it with, like, white tennis shoes, or you could wear it with some really cool sandals wedges i kind of dress it up or down but the color is just everything this midi dress is actual heaven i'm obsessed with it so first and foremost you know i'm obsessed with a lot of animal print lately especially this leopard vibe um i got this in, i got like everything in a size two it's pretty classic for me um but it has pockets and when i wore it it kind of like pushed my boobs together and they looked pretty good <laughs> but i really love the length it comes right to about mid shin and it has adjustable straps it has stretch in the back which is really comfortable and it also kind of gets a little more fitted at the waist and then gives you some breathable room at the lower belly which is perfect for my body shape uh i'm obsessed <laughs> like when i put this on with like some cute little wedges i think i'll just feel like cute little nugget this shirt was so 70s like i was shook um, I love this. The colors are so 70s. I, I'm just dying. Like the ruching, the high neck. <laughs> it's so, so cute. And it goes a little bit of a flare out under the chest. Um, and because it has this ruching, uh, you can wear a strapless bra or you can go braless. Do what you feel. A lot of people are really judgy about going braless, but like, it's your life, it's your body. If you feel comfortable, pop off this kimono is everything so i really love the look of like um a fitted t-shirt with a kimono and skinny jeans and or boyfriend jeans even and like some cute wedges but i've never really found one that i loved and i love this one it is one size fits all and i think it's so cute like see how the side 
has a tie underneath so you can kind of adjust it to what fits you best. I don't know. I, when I put it on, I felt it because I tried on a different kimono too and it just didn't feel right. But I love this. This is crucial. Bike shorts. I've been having a hell of a time. We talked about this at the meetup. Finding cool biker shorts to wear that are like super trendy. Um, that are so popular. So I have not tried these kinds before. I bought a different pair from Torrid online and they were like athletic. These are like the jersey cotton that they make their leggings with. So I got one with stripes, one regular, because they were buy one, get one half off. I will let you guys know how these go because I love the trendy look of biker shorts with like an oversized t-shirt. I think they're really cool. I grabbed this basic super soft tank top. I really liked this shirt. It's a great like layering piece. It's just like a striped flowy top, non-stretch. Oh, I love this dress. I might wear this on the airplane tomorrow. Really cute striping, gray, white, black, and mustard. I just, oh, I think it's adorable. It's that perfect length that comes right to about the knee with white tennis shoes and a denim jacket. It's just like the cutest look. This shirt was so beautiful. Oh, I love this shirt. So it's this purple blouse with a bell sleeve. I love the floral design. Look at the pretty detailing on the neckline. Oh, it's just like flowy and whimsical and romantic. Like such a great date night top. Um, when I put it on, I was just like, ooh. I felt really pretty on it. On it. This is just a black tank top. And then I got both the headband that I'm wearing and this headband love animal print so much like so cute and then the clearance was buy one get one half off so i got this shirt which has the same situation of the ruching and the little baby doll style but it has these cute little sleeves coming off the tank top and then my half off item were these really cute espadrilles like so freaking cute. I hope they're comfortable. I'm going to wear them around for a bit. If you get Torrid shoes, I always go a half size down because I feel like they run kind of big. Like my feet are wide, but I'm like a wide 10. Um, but at Torrid, I'm a wide 9.5. So FYI. Okay, so for like the last 30 minutes, I've literally been trying on different outfits, figuring out what I want to mix and match. So, and a lot of these, I'm not wearing a bra. So <laughs> that's why I haven't been recording. But I'm going to show you one of these outfits now. So this is that shirt. I'm obsessed. I love the high neck. I love the colors. I'll probably bring my strapless bra just in case. And then these are my new American Eagle jeans. I'm pretty sure I showed them in the last vlog. I love them. These are the straight leg jeans. Um, so one of you guys said that they have up to 24 in store, not just online, which is amazing. <laughs> so I think this is gonna be one of my outfits with my little wedge sandals. I don't know why I love this top so much. And I love these jeans. I love the straight leg at the bottom. I love the distressing. I love the distressing on the butt, like so good. So I also got a new bra from Target. I got it in this color, I'm watching Chris Clemens, and this color. So, so pretty. They were buy one, get one half off. Um, what are they? What's the brand? Oh, this is that brand called Auden. A-U-D-E-N. I'll link them. Uh, but they fit really nicely, true to size. Um, I'm obsessed with them. So I'm going to bring these. Definitely bringing this gorgeous dress. Bringing my new underwear from Torrid. Bringing this outfit. We're only there for two full days, but um, I don't know why I just love this dress. Maybe for like a nice dinner out with some really cute shoes. I have some from Chinese Laundry I want to wear. So sorry this angle is the worst. But I love this top. This was the first one I showed you. I do love how it comes in, flows out, gives you a nice shape. It has buttons down the front. It's really stretchy and comfy. And then these are the other jeans that I got from American Eagle. These are the high rise jegging. They are so comfortable, guys. Like, actually the stretchiest, most wonderful material ever. I would definitely recommend these. But I like this outfit. I'm going to pack this too. Okay, so I just got my bag pretty much packed for clothing. So we're bringing that cheetah dress, that outfit I showed you here, 
the next outfit I showed you. So I recently bought these pants, I'll put a side by side here, with this super soft um, tank top from Torrid. I'm just gonna like do a little tie knot, maybe my denim jacket, that jumpsuit I showed you, and then the kimono, I think it will look really good with um, a tank top and one of those jeans, probably the boyfriend jeans. And then I'm obsessed with these shoes from Chinese Laundry. Um, I'm gonna wear these on like a date night, probably with the skinny jeans and black um, flowy peplum top. But yeah, that's it for clothes for now. I'm gonna finish up shoes and like pajamas and stuff. Hi, I just took a nap. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> okay. All right, let's just uh, Nothing we can't wipe off. I needed a nap. <laughs> oh. I really needed a nap. I was so overtired. I was up so late last night. You guys have noticed with the vlogs and stuff. Girls can kind of like run, 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 running. <laughs> and I think I'll simmer down this fall, like knock on wood. I haven't been home much, especially with New Bay. Um, side note, haven't said his name because I don't really want to. Like, I hope that's okay for now. Um, for now he's just Bay on the internet, so that was a mutual decision. But you guys were so supportive on the video because I posted it today and like, it's just, we're just hanging out. Um, but I can't wait to go to LA with him tomorrow and like show you. So anyway, I'm packing pajamas right now. I wanted to share my favorite pajamas right now. I bought them from the Savage X Fenty line and I just bought like these sleep shorts with the matching top. I don't know what they're called, but they are just like these heather gray material, um, color I mean, and the material is so incredibly soft. They feel... Oh my gosh, just amazing. They're kind of like, I love cool fabrics for sleeping. I do not like to be hot. And these just feel like that perfect, cool yet thick, good quality material. I'll find them and link them as well. And then I can't decide if I should bring a bathing suit. I really don't think we're gonna swim or do that, but I should probably ask him. But honestly, that's pretty much it for, I'm not gonna do any of my, hygienic stuff till the morning. When I travel, I just bring toothbrush, toothpaste. I'll probably pack a couple earrings, but I usually, honestly, I'm really easy when I travel. I'm not someone who brings like a ton of shoes, a ton of jewelry. Like I bring like, I'm probably gonna bring like my gold hoops, maybe these stars that I've been wearing a lot from Coach. Um, and then I'm gonna just bring my face wash and moisturizer. If I'm going somewhere for a long time, I will bring my full skincare routine, but somewhere for a couple days, like, no, <laughs> just no. And then like contacts and glasses. I'm a really simple girl to travel. Um, and then my sunglasses. So that's pretty much everything. Anything else I pack, you guys will see on my Instagram during the trip. So this will be going up on Thursday. And you guys will be seeing in a couple days the LA trip. When you're watching this, I am in LA. We're only there for a couple of days, so. We're kind of just making the most of our trip and like our time and we weren't going there for anything specific just for our first vacation we both just love LA and haven't been in a minute so <laughs> yeah uh, I'm also going to bring hair products because hair if you guys want to see my most recent updated hair that's blue tutorial for my beach waves I'll link it below that's everything I'm going to be bringing with me so I love you I'll see you guys in a couple days uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this i know it was like really random but it was kind of fun to like pack together <laughs> all right bye